call your next witness. Your Honor, we can next call Ishana Pugh. Officer Hill, can we get Kishana Pugh, please? Ms. Pugh, good afternoon to you, ma'am. Just watch your step as you come forward. If you need a glass of water or something, let us know. Mr. Gray and the staff can certainly help you out in that regard, okay? Okay. Slide and you can adjust the microphone to help you project your voice as well. And with that said, Ms. Michelle, you may inquire. You're ready. Thank you, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Or was it after? Yes, it is. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. If you could please start by introducing yourself to the jury, please. My name is Kishana Pugh, um, but I'm also here to speak on behalf of my husband, David Pugh. All right, and Ms. Pugh, Mrs. Pugh, how are you related to Jonathan Quillas? Jonathan is my husband's cousin, first cousin. And how long have you known Mr. Quillas? About 12, 13 years. And how often during that time period would you say you've interacted with Mr. Quillas? Um... I would say maybe every couple months or so, every few months. Uh, now recently, my husband talks to him every day almost. And what type of interactions would you all have? I mean, like in what settings? Um, <clears throat> church. Um, when he first got to Jacksonville, we, would, we invited him to church, and he would go to church with us. Um, and also for family events, he would invite us over. He would cook for us and things like that. Can you share with the jury um, a little bit of Mr. Quillis's background that you're aware of? And I know you're speaking also on behalf of your husband, David Pugh, so if there's something that you want to offer from his, from his perspective as well, you may do that. Sure. Um, so from my perspective, um, Jonathan, is he's like been the only member of my book club, I want to say. He's the only person that, um, that actually read, likes to read with me and things like that. We've shared books and and stuff like that. Um, but my husband, he's been almost like a, a big brother to my husband. He, he always gives advice. Um, he's helped us. Um, <clears throat> when, it come, when, we, when it came to our renovation of our bathroom, like we showed him the inside. He, he came up with a whole plan of how we should do that. Um, he would also help out at the church a lot. He um, I know he built like the sound booth at our church. Um, he did a lot of handyman work and things like that. All right. Can you share with the jury what you know about Mr. Quillas as a person? As a person, he's always been like this bubbly person. He's always, every time I see him, he has a smile on his face. He's laughing about something. He's always been such a happy person. And what does he mean to you um, for your life and as well? I know you're speaking on behalf of your husband, so you may give his perspective as well. Uh, what he means to... To you as a person. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he means a lot. I, I see that he brings so much joy to my husband, my husband... Um, he's always excited to talk to him or tell him about his day or what's going on. He's always been, he's been a, a person of release for my husband. So um, I feel like he's a very important person in, in our lives. And what other information would you like the jury to know as they uh, weigh this evidence that you're providing to them? Um, the only thing my husband just wanted me to, to mention is that he loves his cousin very much and that as a man of God, he, he believes in redemption and he believes that everyone should have a chance at redemption. 
there anything further you would like to offer to the jury at this time? No, that'll be all. Nothing further for this witness, Judge. No questions from the state. Ms. Pugh, good to see you, ma'am. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Judge, if we could, just, if I could have just one moment to check outside who's next. We were going to do Zoom now, but I need to let them know that. Is that okay, Judge? If I just of course. Really no, of course. Okay. Uh, members of jury, just so you guys are aware, we have a few witnesses who may testify via Zoom. Um, um, we have set it all up. It should work seamlessly. Um, but I have, we have people in route to have it set up because they don't trust me to do so. Um, so that may take a couple minutes. I may give you a few minutes to stretch out in the jury room while we take care of that. But the defense is seeing if an additional witness is here so we can kind of keep going.